Hey y'all, I wanted to do a uh, update video on some things I've kind of figured out with this uh, pre-wet system that I put in the truck. So this is a video update of kind of lessons learned from using it a couple times now. Um, so in the first video, I indicated that um, you could turn the pre-wet button on and it wouldn't turn on and off with the salt spreader, um, that it was, you had to hit both buttons to, to run them. I was incorrect. Um, so something nice about this system is if uh, you um, hit the button and turn it on, um, it will prime the pump and start the, um, it'll start the pump and put pressure in the line. Um, and uh, trying to find the words here, um, like my accessory reel, I'm able to use that uh, with the pump being primed right now. But if I turn my salt spreader on, and then off, it's going to turn the pre-wet back off, which is very convenient. If I hit the button again, my pre-wet's coming right back on. So it is acting the way it is. Um, it's, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, also, it, it's handy that they did that function. That way I can come in here, hit the button if I want to use my hose reel to do some sidewalk de-icing. I can hit that button, charge the pump, and then I'm good to go. I don't have to have the spinner running. So I was mistaken in my previous video about that. So I apologize, but we're all contractors. We all learn, and I'm here to share the information with you. Um, so everything else is working pretty good. I am going to show you a change that I made to the um, tube. Well, I really, I'm not really going to show you. Um, so in the first video, I described the tube that goes uh, across the top of the conveyor that shoots down well i had drilled about 20 or 25 maybe even 30 holes in there and that was way too many um typically when you're pre-wetting salt at the spinner you want to you want to wet it at about 8 to 10 gallons per ton um, i was putting on about 20 gallons per ton with that many holes so i ended up talking to my uh, western dealer and uh, he said man i don't know why you drilled holes he goes mine is pretty much the same too it's just black um, and it's just got small little slits in it you know like from a razor blade and so I kind of took a peek at his and he was right. And so I bought a new tube. I mean, it was, you know, a dollar for the new tube because I just took it off right there at the, uh, at the ball valve. And we'll walk back there. I uh, took it off at the ball valve and uh, put it in. And uh, I cut a couple slits in it. And what it does is it maintains a really good, I'm not going to open this. Um, it maintains a really good pressure. So it's a, more of a high pressure stream going in. But even if I open my ball valve all the way, it's cycling the pump really fast, but it's not displacing the gallons uh, per minute that I was before. So I should be pretty close to the uh, eight to 10 gallon mark um, with uh, having the valve all the way open. So one other thing that I recommended that I now do not recommend was the gun that I bought before. This gun, it, it's junk. It clogged up on me in the uh, end there. It got clogged. Um, I know I'm not running a filter on my system, but uh, it clogged the first use. It, that's 35 bucks wasted. Um, so don't buy this. Um, you can build a gun for about $20. That is a three quarter inch uh, PVC or uh, polypropylene uh, valve. Most ag stores have them. Um, what I have in here is a three quarter inch to one quarter inch reducer bung and it goes into my hose reel. On this end, um, this is called a J-Rod and this you can go online to pressuretech.com and you can buy this. Um, this is actually used for pressure washing but it's got different orifices. So this one is an eight gallon a minute high shoot. This is an eight gallon a minute fan shoot. Um, this is still rated for eight gallons a minute, but through a pressure washer. Um, but this will make a pencil like stream and I'll pull some hose off here in a second to show you. And this is more of your tapered down. Um, but yeah, it's called a J-Rod. Um, you can pick the J-Rod up empty for probably 15 bucks and then you can buy the tips on Pressure Tech. Uh, these tips are, uh, Oh, the big ones are 2560s. So the orifice size is uh, 25 and the degree is 60 uh, or two point, yeah, 25. 
um, on these smaller ones, the orifice size is uh, 25, but it's a uh, 20 inch or 20 degree stream. So you can pick these up. If you just go to pressuretech.com and you order a J rod, and you tell them that your unit, it'll ask you for gallons per minute. If you just type in eight, um, they will send you this kit. Um, or if you're using a smaller pump, or if you only wanna shoot five gallons a minute, just put in the, the selection, you can put a five. Um, so yeah, it just, it changes out. You just quick couple it onto the other ones. It'll probably get frozen on there, but I'm probably only gonna be using the pencil stream. Um, we'll, Take it and shoot some brine in the driveway here. Kind of hard to do one handed. So, yeah, I mean, I'll get a good distance if I want it, but it's got that pencil stream that I can, you know, cut through snowpack if I have it. Um, and I'm not going to have to worry about this ball valve clogging up and. Um, it's going to be a lot more handy. Um, I already I had the parts laying around from my other side of my business, so it wasn't a big deal at all to put this together. I just, I mean, I had all the parts except for the two reducers. They were just a couple bucks each. So, yep, that's my little update. Um, I also turned this Tecton uh, hose guide, it was facing down, turned it facing backwards. I will give a little shout out to Tecton. Um, so these two guide rollers fell off. Uh, the first time I used it. Um, and I don't feel like it was because it was aimed down because um, the way it was aimed down, all the hose was being pulled against these two. Um, so I emailed Tecton and I had these, a new set of rollers, which I only had to replace two. I had a new set of rollers in my mailbox within three days. They're a great company so far. I just picked up some of their Allen keys today so I could change these. Um, I was missing a few Allen keys and happened to be the one I was missing. Um, so yeah, um, kind of a little kudos to Tecton uh, for, you know, this product is doing pretty good. As I'm making this video, I'm seeing a leak in the, a little bit of a leak there I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Ah, well dang, I mean it's not rated for this, so if I have to replace that uh, fitting with a stainless steel one, that's not a big deal. I can order one of those, but yeah, as I'm making a video complimenting, I see a leak. It's not leaking now, just when I move it. Yeah, huh. Guess I won't be leaving my pre-wet on. I mean, it shouldn't do anything, but I'll keep you guys posted in the comments if that thing fails on me and I'll have to replace and get a part number, so. That is all for today. I didn't really want to make an eight minute video out of this, but here we are. So have a good day, be safe out there. It's starting to snow for us, so enjoy and uh, take care.